Bed and Belly kicking off a new season, showcasing some amazing talent, as always. And rounding out the Kaplan New Work series will be two premieres that are choreographed by company dancers, David Morse and Taylor Carrasco. And they join us now to talk about this. Uh, very exciting. Are you, are you excited? You're nervous? Like you, uh, you, big butterflies? How, tell us how you're feeling today. A little bit of a combination of both. Uh, really excited. This is my first time presenting choreography on this scale, so a little bit nervous. But the, the nerves are really just fueling a little bit more excitement. Yeah. And David, you choreographed pieces before. Uh, anything on this scale before? No, this is um, this is a really big opportunity for both of us to be presenting uh, our work on a company of this this size, this scale, and this caliber. So we both feel pretty honored. Yeah, now you you're both uh, dancers right now as well. Uh, tell us how it came about that you were given the opportunity to choreograph these pieces. So we had a choreographer's workshop last year where a few of us put together pieces, and um, they put together a really amazing panel of of judges that kind of. Uh, took a look at all of them and, and happened to select the two of us um, to get put on this New Works program. So we, um, yeah, we feel really lucky. Now when you choreograph a piece versus dancing a piece, uh, no pun intended, but you work different muscles, right? <laughs> Completely. <laughs> yeah, tell us what the difference is. We've been kind of saying that at work we've been really wearing two different hats and having to switch them hour by hour. You know, one hour you're having to really retain and, and take in information and try and uh, uh, remember it and internalize it while the other hours you're kind of trying to do the opposite. You're trying to spew out information as much as you can. So it's been an interesting thing to do every day, transitioning between the two. You have to direct the dancers, and these are your peers. This is like being a player coach. That's got to be hard, too. Yeah, exactly. It's like player coach or actor director. You know, it's like you're, you're kind of having to look at your, your peers and tell them, you know, they got to work on this or we got to fix this. Or, But the, we have amazing coworkers. They're, yeah. they're such talented folks, such talented artists. Um, so it's, it's really been a, a pretty seamless transition having to flip back and forth for us. Okay, let's talk a little bit about your individual pieces. I, 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 what, uh, first of all, let's start with you. Uh, talk about what you were trying to accomplish with the piece you choreographed. Is it a, is it a physical piece or is it a more interpretive work? Yeah, very, very physical, very um, almost kind of athletic. Uh, it's, called, um, it's called gathering. So it's, it's just a little bit about uh, humans and our sort of innate um, desire to, to get together, whether that's you know, at a dinner table or um, at a church service or whatever it might be, just um, that sort of uh, need to commune that we all feel. Yeah. And what about you? Uh, my piece is called Plays Well Together, and I'm kind of fascinated by how well people can interact, even if they don't know each other um, or they don't know each other well. So I just wanted to create the sensation on stage of a, uh, a, ga a group of people who are coming together and having a good time with each other and they're not exactly sure why but they're going with it anyways. Yeah, uh, do you enjoy the choreography part as opposed to performing or there different kind of satisfy different things in you? Yeah absolutely I think you know you, when you're working your choreographic muscles it's a little bit more of a creative outlet mm -hmm. um, whereas uh, when you're dancing the work of someone else it's a little bit more work as an interpreter sure um, so it's um, yeah I mean like you say it's it's flexing two different muscles but I think it's been uh, enriching for both of us to, to be kind of flipping back and forth okay where does it go from here for you uh, do you see a future in uh, choreography because uh, you know it, at some point all of us young folks are not so young anymore <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do you see a future in that for yourself maybe I'm hoping so as long as people are willing to have me choreograph I'll choreograph for them <laughs> all right well thank you both for coming in to talk about this today Thank and you. Uh, uh, you can see the performances of the uh, Cincinnati Ballet's Kaplan New Work Series from Thursday through September 23rd at the Aronoff. Uh, just go to local12.com and click on the Get It Now links for details. And once again, thanks to both of you guys. Thank uh, you. I don't know, is it right to tell dancers to break a leg? Or uh, merit is what we said. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. We'll be right back.